If you're going through a breakup, you need to connect with that trauma, share it with all your friends, post on social media about it, then dress up, look really good, go to all the places your ex used to hang out and try to bump into them again so they can regret ever losing you, then go out on the weekend, get drunk and hook up with someone new. Of course, I don't believe any of the advice I just shared with you. These are the worst ways to get over a breakup. The problem with taking any of these approaches is that firstly, you are getting really trapped in the past, really stuck in the pain of what actually happened. You're turning yourself into a victim by letting that pain define all of the steps you take moving forward. The other thing you're doing is you're making the person you've just broken up with the focus of the actions you're taking to actually get over that breakup. I've been thinking about this a lot lately about how to get over breakups because we've just launched a new masterclass on the vessel with the incredible Annabelle Acton. I honestly can't stop thinking about it because I realize in my own life that I've taken all of these terrible approaches to how to get over a breakup. Instead, I've been doing a huge amount of reflection about about what is really needed. I've come up with five key things that I think are really important for anyone that's going through a breakup. These are the things that will help you shift from making the breakup all about the other person to making it about yourself, to treating this as an incredible opportunity to grow and evolve from the experience. It's not just about getting over the breakup itself, but it's about shaping our character for how we get over life challenges whenever they're before us. So these are five key things that I think are really important for approaching breakups in our lives. The first thing to do is to embrace the pain of the breakup. Now this is the hardest thing to do because breakups really are painful. I've created another video on the channel where I explain why breakups are physically painful. So the emotional pain we go through activates parts of the brain that are triggered when we experience physical pain. Breakups are that painful, but we need to embrace that pain. We need to go there and connect with it because very often the knee jerk reaction is to try to drown out the pain with alcohol, with meeting new people. It creates these new dopamine hits that distract us from the pain, but the pain still lingers. So the pain that we're feeling is a huge invitation to go deep into these feelings and to connect with it. And the only way to go down this path is to embrace the pain that we're going through. The next thing to do is to focus on yourself. The reality is that during a breakup, we've been focusing so much on someone else and that focus has been painful. We're trying to resolve differences, find a different pathway forward, and it just hasn't worked out. So now is the time to step back from that process and to focus entirely on what's happening in your own life. This is a time for spending time with yourself, for doing things alone, for enjoying that time with yourself. It could be that there were hobbies that you used to have that you might have forgotten about or pushed to the side during the relationship. Now is the time to connect with them again. It could be that you've got dreams for your life, you've got goals for the future and some of this stuff has been put to the side during the relationship. Now is the time to connect fully with whatever those dreams and goals and hopes for the future might be. This is the time to fully connect with yourself. So you're connecting with the pain, using that as an invitation to focus on yourself. Now is the time to shift the narrative. It's very easy to get sucked up into this narrative of, I've just broken up with someone, I'm heartbroken, I need time to move on. I get stuck in this pain. That creates a victim mindset. We start defining who we are and how we interface with the world based on the pain and suffering that we're going through. Instead, we need to shift that narrative to a much more empowered one. We can do things like seeing a breakup as yes, a hugely difficult time. We're going through pain, but this pain is making me more resilient. This breakup is helping me see that there's hope for the future. There's a direction that is not necessarily the direction I thought that I'd be going in, but there is a new direction to go down. There are new opportunities emerging. This is a wonderful time to shape our character, to become resilient in the face of pain. Already in that first step, when you have this first movement into really going into that pain, you are creating so much incredible strength and resilience deep inside yourself. These moments of breakups, I mean, I know they're just so sad. They're really terrible times, but they are huge opportunities. Life can just get so passive and automatic much of the time. We get into autopilot mode. A breakup shatters the autopilot mode. It's an opportunity for growth, whether or not we wanted that. 
this is the moment for changing the narrative. And this shifting the narrative takes us to the fourth key thing to embrace, which is learning to love again. This is the thing that I really struggled with after my, actually all of my breakups. There's only been a few because I've avoided getting into relationships for so long, for so much of my own life. And I think now, now that I'm doing this masterclass with Annabelle Acton, we're producing it on the vessel. I've been thinking so much about breakups lately and I realized that these are the things that I just was never able to do very well. And this next thing is really it for me and that's learning to love again. The moments after a breakup, when you're going through the breakup and going through that pain, there's this opportunity, like a knee jerk reaction to go down this path of avoiding loving again. Now this path is where you might drown yourself in work and that's what I've always done my whole life. That's just been so important to me or go down the path of fleeting new interactions where you're never actually slowing down and building an intimate connection. Things that are challenging and take a lot of commitment and growth and ups and downs and experiencing that with someone, you avoid that for those regular dopamine hits, a lot of variety, meeting someone new. But that's not really loving. I mean, love is, love is about action. It's about being there. It's about commitment. It's about consistency. So instead, when you're going through this breakup, when you're feeling the pain, when you're shifting your narrative, when you're focusing on yourself, it's also a huge opportunity to be doing what you can to love someone else. Now that doesn't mean throwing yourself into the arms of someone new. I think that comes into the category of quickly getting over it with a fleeting interaction. What it does mean is taking this chance to reconnect with old friends, to spend more time with your family, to find the things in your life that represent love. That teaches you that even when you're going through pain, you can still learn to love again. This is the thing that I wish that I could have done during those really painful moments. This is absolutely the thing that I'm embracing right now because I think we can always still learn from our breakups, even if years have passed. It's a great opportunity to go through these steps and to really evolve and grow stronger from the experience. And the fifth thing is to have fun. Now this might sound totally crazy. We're going through incredible pain, physical pain. We're needing to focus on ourselves. We're changing the narrative. We're shifting from a victim mindset and we're, from all of this pain, we're doing our best to actually start loving again. It's a hugely challenging experience. The danger in this process is that we become way too navel gazing. We take it all way too seriously. Instead, we need to have fun with the pain. We need to get out and about and enjoy life as best we can. This is what I love about Annabelle Acton. She's a really, really good friend of mine. She is one of the funniest people I know. She just loves the quirky side of life and this is the approach that she takes to helping people get over their breakups. She's all about facing up to it head on, to embracing the pain, to going there deeply, to seeing that this is a hugely important time of your life. But she's all about not taking yourself too seriously, having fun with challenges, getting out and doing things, learning new things, embracing new skills, basically just having fun with life. You need to meet Annabelle Acton. You can meet her by checking out the free masterclass via the link in the description below. I'm there as well, I introduced Annabelle there. She is just an incredible human being. So if you're going through a breakup, I urge you to embrace these five steps that I'm sharing in this video. Don't let happen to yourself what's happened to me, which is where you take the wrong approach to breakups and you end up not really resolving the deeper and underlying issues that you've been going through. Instead, use this time as a wonderful opportunity to get proactive, to focus on yourself, to grow and evolve from the experience. If you want to understand why you're feeling this pain so deeply, why emotional pain translates to physical pain, then check out the video I created recently where I break this down and explain why this is the case. It is just here.